everybody's just getting weak, just weaker and weaker. Go outside. Like, I know God said not to judge, but I don't know if, if he anticipated the type of people <laughs> that were going to be on earth in 2022. Have you ever been outside? Just, oh, everywhere you go, there's a sign. Because people are just on the verge of death everywhere. No running, no walking. Here's a curb. Step up. Okay. Because there used to be no sign. People are tripping and dying. We got to... We gotta get a sign onto the curb. People are dying. How do we even cross intersections before the? <laughs> we just had to look and guess. I'm sorry, I get anxiety. I, I, I can't make that choice. I just walk up an intersection. Eight, seven, six, five. <laughs> they don't tell you how long it takes to cross. Thirty seconds, six. I have no idea. I'm not making this choice. Go ask your grandparents, say, hey, granddad, at Christmas, ask them, granddad, how'd you used to cross intersections? Well, let me tell you, son, what we would do is we would just go up to a street and then we would, we would just look. <laughs> and then if there weren't any cars, we just walked across. <laughs> My granddaddy's evil, Knievel! Everywhere you go outside, everywhere, there's a sign. You ever seen this sign? Slippery when wet, slippery when wet. Who hasn't pieced this together yet? <laughs> wet stuff, I'm sorry. Wet stuff is slippery. You can figure that out in the womb. Like, <laughs> that's not a great example, but I'm saying, <laughs> I can't get much traction in here. Like, <laughs> people just on the verge, on the verge of death. You ever seen the sign on the railing at the mall? Attention, do not lean on the railing. Why is that there? Somebody must have. <laughs> we gotta get a sign on the railing. People are dying outside a Foot Locker. <laughs> hey, you ever crossed like a train track? Like a simple train track should be very easy. It's like 500 yards out, train track approaching, 100 yards out, train track approaching, 50 yards out, train track approaching, 25 yards out, train track approaching. There's a ding, ding, ding. There's a horn, there's a gate, there's a light, there's a siren. If after all that, you still get hit by a train, God's will has been done in your life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you were sent as an example to others. I'm sorry. Everywhere you go. It's, and it's like I was at, I, I, my buddy like texted me the other day. He was at the zoo with his kids. He saw a sign at the gorilla cage. It says, attention, no kids in the gorilla cage. <laughs> because of, you know what I'm talking about? A couple years ago, that kid got in there and then they, then they shot the gorilla. Yeah, they shot the gorilla. The gorilla. What? and the gorilla was at work. <laughs> it was Tuesday afternoon at 1.30. He was clocked in. He was where he was supposed to be. He just comes out every day to... <laughs> Minding his business. And then, a, and then a kid got in the cage and they shot him. How would you feel if you're just <laughs> sitting in your cubicle just... Just typing away at the office <laughs> and a Bengal tiger walked in and they shot you. <laughs> this is where I was supposed to be. <laughs> I was fascinated by that story. I read the article. It said the Cincinnati Zoo brings in $150 million of revenue and this gorilla was the central attraction. And they shot it. All I'm saying is <laughs> this kid better go on to be successful. I'm just saying. <laughs> If he's 30 and working at Chipotle, we made a bad investment. <laughs> All over this country, we got these signs. It's only in America. I went down to Peru on a mission trip, like with my church. We were going to go swim in the Amazon River. The guide is like randomly walking by. He's like, hey, if you're going to swim in the river, make sure you swim in groups of three or more so you scare away the anacondas. <laughs> what? I feel like that needs a sign. Everywhere you go, just people on the verge of death at all times. All, there's a phone app that came out recently, very popular. It's a breathing app. All it does is it goes inhale, exhale, <laughs> inhale, exhale. It's saving lives. <laughs> we got signs up all over this country trying to keep people alive that should be dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love Jesus, but we got to take some of these signs down and start weeding some people out, really. <laughs> What are we doing?